Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Ali from Hypno You with your October the 2nd, 2016 uh, weekly forecast. Please do go to www.hypnoula.com for a private one-on-one -on -one reading specific for you. This is a general reading and uh, let's get started. So for the first two weeks of September, there was an eclipse, which is the energy of that will continue for another 90 days. And for some of you, uh, the fallout from that is a transition period where you are, for some of you, uh, are only just finding out that your job is sure or that you were unsure if you still had a job or if you were unsure of the process because things were still up in the air. This is a major arcana card, which says that there is uh, moderation, there is healing, there is a transition period uh, in the play this week. Now this is with Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, who is helping you with that transition, uh, or that you are um, the Fire Sign. This is also stemming from the eclipse uh, in September uh, to do with your work life and your daily uh, work life or your daily day-to-day -day, uh, habits or day-to-day -day work has changed and is uh, transitioning into uh, a much better fit for you. Now temperance is having that emotional uh, confidence to be able to push through with those ideas. This is uh, moderating uh, your behavior, moderating your work, moderating priority, focus, bring, funneling things all down to one thing. Uh, this is also about having that balance at work, uh, having an enlightenment uh, and, and having the freedom of expression, having the freedom of uh, the monkey's no longer on your back. The, the restriction that you were feeling has now gone. Something's happened where you now, uh, so you could be uh, the transition of being in a new job. You could be in the transition of going into retirement, transitioning into um, another a level of your work, or that this is a new job, a new business that you have made yourself, and that transition period, you know, you still hit or miss. But this is a, a wonderful card for you for confidence because you feel that confidence, that self assurance, and you feel that things are on the up. And this is a major, major time for you. Uh, for your home, we do have the Knight of Swords. So this is an air sign, male or female, who might be acting erratic or unstable or um, trying to rule the roost with a firm hand. Uh, got a bit of information and running right with it, maybe accus accusing people or even being tough uh, or uh, running into the rescue uh, to help uh, where help is not needed. This is uh, having an action, having an idea and taking action immediately. This is having a, an obsessive thought or wanting a plan to start straight away. This is air signs, um, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius and swords are your ideas, your planning, searching for the truth. Um, this is um, uh, obsessions, anxiety and stress, overthinking things, um, being determined um, and it could be residing over five people at home, it could be that you've got five different people telling you something and you're not sure which way to go. Um, the Knight of Swords at home says that you need to take control of a situation at home, you need to give directive to people at home, maybe people are wondering roaming around aimlessly waiting for you to step up and tell them what to do. Uh, maybe it is that, you know, there's been an upset uh, and the mood has been down and that is your job to get everyone to come back together uh, around the home. For some of you, this is about um, going really slow in a new uh, vulnerable relationship and um, not being insecure. The swords are an insecurity, so it could be that you're insecure, so you're, you know, biting out and, and acting out first in fear that you're going to be rejected or dumped. Uh, with mm -hmm. your health, we do have the two of um, the high priestess, which is um, getting a second opinion to do with fertility or to do with uh, waterworks or um, the pro uh, productive level, male or female. This is also about um, knowing that there is something wrong and mm -hmm. you just feel it in your gut and that you need to get a second opinion. This is... Um, something you've been worrying about and you haven't told anybody about. This is an unspoken uh, word. There's news coming on this. Now, this could be something you've inherited from your mother or that you go and speak to your mother about. Now, this could be Alzheimer's. This could be uh, something that runs in the family, uh, breast cancer, uh, wound cancer. It's just anything that can be uh, uh, family uh, handed down. Um, this is a two card, which is about making a decision 
a, a grounded decision because this is Capricorn Taurus or Virgo is around this decision as well. This is tangible, practical help from uh, an Earth sign, and this is also taking uh, practical, tangible, uh, grounded steps towards uh, getting the right solution. This is a, a decision that needs to be made based on family uh, for your health. And it's could also involve getting in help around the house, which is good for your health. Um, and there's also about a balance as well. Um, in your love, you do have the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is uh, relying on your partner or your partner relying on you. This is not being um, afraid to, you know, put the hard effort into love. This is an Eight card, which is, you know, um, mortgages, uh, deaths, uh, support from other people, other people's money. So this is a, uh, a relationship that is meaningful and, uh, you know, could buy a house with, could get married to. Um, you've put the effort into this relationship, practical, tangible, uh, you know, you're invested into this relationship and uh, you're really happy with how things are going. For some of you, though, if this is um, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, be careful that you don't keep trying to force, the, you know, the idea onto this person or force your values or your ideals onto this person. Um, also, um, there's an idea of a, a network uh, you know, uh, changing your name on social network or uh, groups, uh, meeting the family, meeting their friends, meeting their family. There's a, a, some of you, there might be some judgment from family and friends and you um, being very proud of introducing your partner uh, to the um, those closest, nearest and dearest to you. So I hope you've enjoyed that reading and I shall see you next week.